Hi everyone, so today I'm going to go over installing OpenEMR 5.0.0 and then exporting the data that you input to OpenEMR to a CSV file. So first thing you have to do is install VirtualBox. If you don't have VirtualBox, all you have to do is go to virtualbox.org um, slash wiki slash downloads and then just download the newest version of VirtualBox. Then you're going to want to install OpenEMR. So the first thing you need to do is go to OpenEMR, um, actually open-emr.org and then click on downloads as you can see here that is circled in red. Then you're going to go to scroll all the way down to the bottom of the downloads page um, and then select the first hyperlink under appliance. Um, and then what you want to do is save that appliance to the desktop so it's easier for you to find in the future. So as you can see down here, it's underlined which hyperlink you have to click on. So the openemr.openemr-appliance-5-0-5. Um, open and it should automatically start to download. And once it's finished downloading, what you're going to need to do is click the icon that appears in your desktop. Um, and what you need to do, actually, once you click on that, it's going to automatically open this window in VirtualBox. And all you're going to need to click is import, as it's highlighted underneath this box. So then you're going to run OpenEMR. The first thing you need to do is select OpenEMR Appliance as it's on the left side of your virtual box and then click Start. Eventually a page like this will appear um, and all you need to do is type in OpenEMR for the login and then OpenEMR as the password. As it's seen here, it's case sensitive so make sure that you're just keeping it all in lowercase. And then after you log in, you need to type in HTTPS uh, colon backslash backslash localhost into your web browser. And it's really important that you keep that S as if you do not, it will say it'll come with an error and won't open OpenEMR. So then now that you have OpenEMR open, you need to insert data for the patients. So on the toolbar, you're going to go to patient slash client and then click on new slash search. And you'll get this page that will appear. And all you really need to do is fill out as you want. Um, so this will come down with Mr. Mrs. Doctor, etc. And then you're going to put in their name, any ID you want to put in, social security number, date of birth, and billing codes, etc. So then you're going to insert visit information. So after you put in someone's name, so for example, I selected, I inputted a patient named Jennifer Gus. Um, you're going to select that patient from the patient list. So to find a pa your patients, you click patient slash client, then click on patients and then select that patient and then you're going to go back to patient slash client and to create a visit you're going to go to the visits and then click create visit and then you'll come up with a new web page that has um, a ton of different text boxes that you can input data as need be. So then to insert notes you're going to select a patient again and then scroll through their um, medical record and there is a section called notes. Um, if you expand notes um, and there are no notes, you can just click here. So to add notes, click here. So then to export the data that you had input into your database, what you're going to need to do is go to administration on the toolbar and scroll and pretty much go all the way down to other. This will open another set of um, hyperlinks and you're going to go to database. After you click database, uh, something will appear like this and this is a database with all your patient data. So you're going to select that that name, OpenEMR. So then you're, once you select OpenEMR, this 
toolbar will appear and you're going to need to collect, um, select SQL. So then click SQL and then type in a SQL code to retrieve that information um, that you want to export. So for my example, I selected all from patient data and that will give me all the information. Um, for example, you could just select patient names and IDs instead of selecting everything and when you export that data into a CSV file, it will only have their IDs and patient name instead of coming back with visits, etc. So after you type in that SQL code, you're going to go to the bottom where it says go and click on it. And then you'll come to a new web page and at the bottom of it, it will say export. You're going to select select export and it'll come up with a new page and part of it says format. Um, underneath format there's a drop down bar. Click on it and then select CSV and then select go and then your database will begin to download um, as a CSV file. And that's the last thing. Um, if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me. Um, I'll put any links for the downloads in the description bar down below.